It's not easy to Yu Yu Hakusho and then Hunter Hunter right after. For majority of these big shonen series creators, you're gonna do one and done. I mean, look at the dude that made Naruto, right? I don't know what he was doing. So to have two different shonen series under your belt that both banged as hard as they did is an accomplishment. But there's just something about Hunter Hunter that feels different. Specifically, I'm talking about this kid right here. Gone Freaks is just built different, but we have to look at Gone for why he makes Hunter Hunter such a great series, and also why he differs so drastically compared to other main characters you may know and love. But of course, before we jump into it, if you like this type of video, hit that like button. But I'm not about to stop you here. I know what you're here for, so let's keep rolling. Now then, to give you a quick synopsis of Hunter Hunter, just in case you don't know about the show, which would be kind of odd because how would you have gotten to this video in the first place? Hunter Hunter follows a young boy named Gone Freaks. Gone inspires to be a hunter himself because his dad dad was a hunter too, and also his dad is a deadbeat and decided to leave him. Anyway, Gon believes the best way to find his dad is to become a hunter so maybe he would get a clue. Now a hunter doesn't have to be a specific thing. A hunter in this world is someone that's an elite human that really has some type of skill. If you're able to pass the hunter exam, then you'll get a license that certifies you as a hunter. And well, there's plenty of different type of hunters, such as gourmet hunters, hunters that are just criminals, they're everywhere. Now you think that they would discriminate if you're doing bad with your license, but no, they really don't care. Matter of fact, you're able to kill someone during the exam and come back and do it the next year which is, you know, something the show decided to look over. So Gon wants to get his license so he can find his old pops. He doesn't have a skill set per se, but he's strong enough to still go through the test and get a license. Now, I'm not just talking about Gon to bully him, even though it would be very easy to do so, but Gon Freaks has showed us after he got his license many times as viewers that he's different. Let me point out some examples of what I'm talking about. At first, during the exam of getting his license, there was times that some people had to go. This is a very very dangerous exam, so while doing the exam, your life is in danger as well. There is a point during the exam that many people had to jump and catch some eggs on a spider web. You know, everyday type crap, right? But some of these hunters jumped to their death and it was just kind of a whatever situation. I mean, these guys didn't just jump and get blown back up by the wind, they are completely dead. Meanwhile, Gon's just looking at it like he never cared nor did he even see it happen. But here, I could give it a small pass because he was not the only one that did not have a reaction. But what I cannot give a pass for is the other moment during the hunter exam. During the hunter exam, your final test was to beat another person that's also competing for their license. And while Gon is strong, he just wasn't strong enough to beat Naruto here. But the problem with this situation is during many points of the fight, Gon is injured severely. I'm talking about Gon's arm being twisted behind him like a voodoo doll. While the audience felt very uneasy watching it, it seems as if Gon never cared. It got to the point that even Naruto had to give up doing it because he felt bad. So this moment here tells us as a viewer that Gon's a little bit different compared to others. It's almost as if his senses of humanity aren't quite there. Now you think it would be completely opposite when you compare his friend Killua. Killua was raised by his family that are well-known assassins, so therefore he's supposed to be the same way. The difference between Gon and Killua is Killua had a hard upbringing. Therefore, his family always wanted him to have that heartless mindset. But as you go throughout Hunter Hunter's story, you realize that Killua is learning to have a heart. But then you realize that Gon is the complete opposite. And trust me, I have even worse examples compared to this. While the first two examples I showed you are towards the beginning of Hunter Hunter series, these next two I'm about to show you are towards the end, which some people would call the best arc of anime. Now the Chimera Ant arc is probably the best arc for the series, but I don't want to do the back and forth with you guys about if it's the best arc ever. So just to give you an example of what's going on, if you've not seen this arc, basically there's a lot of ants that are becoming very strong and have strong abilities. These ants are a new species that are trying to take over the world and the hunters have to stop them. The difference is these ants are growing at an exponential rate. So it just so happens one day Gon and Killua were trying to find Gon's dad. And instead of finding Gon's dad, instead they found one of Gon's dad's friends and we'll talk about him more in a bit. So during this arc, you find out a couple of things. The first being that some of these ants actually have a heart. They're not all actually out there just to do evil. And since Gon and Killa was split up during this arc, they both meet their own pair of new friends. Gon meets a new friend called Melarone, in which I will call him Melon. I have no reason at all to call this man Melon, it's just easier. 
Melon is a character that's able to hide his presence and someone else that he touches as long as he can hold his breath. So he plans to help Gong stop the other ants by using his ability as forfeit. And the reason I say forfeit is because Gong really doesn't need you. But during this moment, Melon asks Gong straight up, why would you trust me if I'm an ant? And well, the response Gong gives is crazy. And besides the crazy response he gives him, his look is even crazier. Gong tells Melon that he wouldn't mind if he betrayed him because it's easier for him to kill him right after. And right. doing it with a smile on your face is kind of weird. Again, this is just the start of Gone going crazy this arc. All right, now get ready for this one. Before I talked about Kite, who was simply Gone's dad's friend. So Gone first saw him and did not know who he was. Suddenly Gone had an epiphany of this is Kite. I suddenly know who he is. You know, great storytelling, right? Now knowing that Gone probably spent less than an hour of his whole life being around Kite tops, I'm talking about the anime here, just the anime. They decide to go on a killing spree, finding as many ants as possible and getting them up out of here. But during this time, there was one more ant that was stronger than the rest. Neferpito was a character that was considered a royal guard for the king. In other words, she's just stronger than the other ants you've seen. And well, Pito so happens to catch them slacking. Not because of Kite who could maybe hold his own against Pito, but instead it's because Gon and Killua are not strong enough to fight Pito. So Kite decided I need to protect these boys the best I can from the huge threat. Now just to speed this up real quick, Kite does not make it. So now it's a revenge arc for Gon to come back and clap Pito's cheeks. And if you think I'm kidding, I promise you I'm not. When Gon and friends make a plan to come back, Gon specifically wants to fight Pito. And boy was he pissed when he found out where she was. Was. Gon finds Pito slacking when she was trying to heal a human girl, but Gon was not having it at all. Instead of thinking about her actually helping a human that she does not have to do, he threatens not only to kill Pito, but also the human girl she's trying to heal. Killua does his best to hold Gon back after throwing the biggest temper tantrum you've ever seen. But during this moment, Gon was willing to even dismiss his best friend to kill Pito. And I mean, Gon was pissed. He had Pito breaking her own limbs just to wait a little bit longer. And Gon said, that's fine. I'll sit here and wait for your cheeks to get clapped. Once this small situation passes, Gon demands Pito to tell him where Kite is. And of course, as you can assume, he's not going to like what he sees. But in all honesty, let's just be real. We all knew Kite was gone. And I'm not sure if Gon really believed that or not, but he had to know something was wrong. So this is where the climax happens and it goes crazy. The hate Gon has in his heart is so unbearable because Pito killed someone he knew for 10 minutes. So he's willing to do something which is, I guess, new to the series. By using all the future possibilities he has to use his Nin, he puts it into one go. And basically he becomes like, I don't know, Big Daddy Gon. And again, he does all of this so he has the strength to destroy Pito. I don't like using the word destroy, I'm just gonna say get rid of. Now while this moment in the Hunter Hunter series is pretty cool, it's just kind of weird to think, was it really worth it? I mean, Kite is not the only human that died during this arc. Matter of fact, some of the cases are so depressing, I can't even tell you. But Gon clearly does not care about those other people. So looking at the evidence of this video, the question becomes, did Gon just want to get revenge for Kite? Or did he just have some crazy hate for Neferpito? Now Gon's story for being the main character really ends right about here. But I'd argue that Gon is one of the most interesting shonen characters you'll ever see. And you know, we kind of talked about him, but Killua is the complete opposite of Gon. I could do a full video about Killua as well, but it depends on how good this one does. So let me know in the comments what you think about Hunter x Hunter and especially Gon Freaks. If you're looking at what to watch next, I have some more shonen love for you over here. Thank y'all for watching. Until next time, peace.